Hey YouTube and welcome to a basic tutorial in Adobe Premiere. This is just going to be the most simple things to get you started if you're new to Adobe Premiere and how to video edit on it. So we're going to start here and this is our workspace and the first thing you're going to want to do is of course import the video you're going to want to edit. So we're going to go up to file and click import which I mean it's kind of obvious and then from here just select the video. I'm going to use an older video I did um, to edit and find the video click open. And now it's going to put it over here. This is going to be kind of your bank of all your files, videos, pictures, songs, whatever that you import into your workspace. So here's going to be where the file is. And now you can either just drag it right over top here or you can put it down here depending if you want to like move the video to a further spot or keep it at the beginning. So for now we're just going to drag it right over here and it will automatically put it at the beginning for us. And from here we're going to basically talk about how to manipulate this video for you to edit it. So this little cursor down here is just going to drag it. Here, hold on. I'm going to mute the sound just so uh, the video's not playing in the background. But down here, um, this little cursor is going to have it so you can drag it to different spots. And that's pretty explanatory of itself. Uh, you just move it to the spot that you want it. And here is the time that you can do. You can also click the time and enter it in manually if you know the exact spot in the video that you want to go to. And now we're going to move to the front here, and you're going to notice some things on the front page here. First you have this percentage here, and then you have this thing that's full over here. It might be different for you. But if you open these up, this is basically just going to be how big the actual video is that you're viewing. So if you want to zoom in more, you can do that and zoom in more. Or you can just click fit and it'll fit the screen perfectly to where you can see everything. And then over here is going to be the resolution. Sometimes big videos, if they're higher resolutions, if you notice when I'm dragging it, it gets kind of choppy because these are recorded in 1080p. You can put this down to one half the resolution or a fourth of the resolution. And as you see, when I play this, it looks a lot blurrier, but it just makes it easier so that when you're working, it's nice and smooth. So when you play the video, it's a nice smooth video and you don't really need to see what's in the background. This won't affect the end video. It's just for you to use so that while you're editing the video, it's easier to work with. Um, depending on your computer, I mean, some people can run in full, but when you get big video files, Sometimes I like to run it in a fourth or a half just so I can click play on it and watch the video smoothly. All right, now the next thing I'm gonna talk about is all these little things down here. These are all your different tracks. And basically you have it separated into your video tracks and your audio tracks down here. So right here, you can see if you click the down arrow, um, oops, sorry, click the down arrow on here and you can expand these. And you can see that the top one is gonna be the video and the bottom one is gonna be the audio. So if you have another video, say, like I, okay, say this, so I just drag it in again, you can see I can put it there, but I can also set it into a different track and put it right on top of this. So that's what tracks are mainly for. It's just moving around different videos. Say I wanted to put this video on top of this video, then, here, let me fast forward there. All right, so then this video would play, and then the one on top would then oversee it. So this is just like the priority of your videos. So you see like right here, Video's playing, video's playing. Oh, let me go to the beginning. All right, so the video's playing, and then you'll see that it switches to the top one here because that has priority over the bottom one. So basically, if I wanted this bottom one to be shown, then I would have to take this and move this video to the top layer or to a layer above it, and the layer below it is going to be the one that's actually shown in the video. So as you see there, this one shows, and then this one shows. So basically, that stuff is a little more complicated, you probably won't use it much. You'll probably just have videos right next to each other. So you can kind of ignore these layers if you're working in basic dimensions of videos where you just have one video and then you put the next video right after that video and all that stuff. But those are just different layers of videos and audio tracks that you can use. Like if I had a song I wanted to put in, I can import a song. So let's go to import, <coughs> excuse me. And let's go to our music and let's just find uh, I don't know, random song here. All right, 1901. So import it and you'll see now it comes up in our bank again and now we have a song in this bank. And this is an audio file, you can see it's .mp3, so we're not gonna be able to drag it into the video section, you have to go down to the audio section. Now here, you have to be careful because if you put it here, like if I say, oh, I want my, my song right there, right below it. Well, this is already in the way of a track that already has sound in it. So if your video has sound in it and you put the other sound clip right over it, it deletes it. So now it's only this sound clip. So if you click Control Z, you can go back and you'll see that this one here, you wanna put it right below it so that way you have a separate audio track. So both these audio tracks, if you expand it, they're both gonna play at the same time. You can hear it there, I didn't mute that one. So you wanna make sure <coughs> if you have more than one 
audio track or video track, you have to make sure that you put it in a different uh, layer on the tracks, otherwise they're gonna overwrite each other. All right, now if we zoom in more towards this area with all these confusing little bubbles and stuff, this one is just gonna be to toggle whether you want your sound muted or unmuted. I use this a lot when editing just so I can mute all the sounds and work with the videos and then on and then re put it back in when you're about to finish your video but it's kind of nice to mute the video or audio if you're working on it so that when you're scaling through here you don't hear all the sound like zipping by but make sure you do click that after you're done because otherwise it will save it as no audio and that works again as if you had a video and you want to just cut the audio out you can easily just click that button no more audio in that video all right so now another thing is this little eyeball above here will actually <coughs> excuse me erase the video as well just like the audio thing here can mute the audio if you wanted say just the audio from a video for some reason or say you just didn't want to look at the video at this time you can click the little eyeball button and that erases the video from the feed so right now you can hear the audio going by crazy because I'm moving it really fast and you just don't see the video uh, in some situations this can be easier uh, you might not understand why you use it now but in other words it just makes the video go away all right, so now we have these little bars here I'm going to talk about. This one right here that you can move around, and this one right here. This bar up here is going to be what your video renders. So when you're done with your video, and I have a separate video on how to render a video, and you want to render your video, and you're completely done, and you're happy with the results, this is going to tell you what renders the video. From what time here, like say I want to render from here to here, it's only going to render this space here where this gray part is. All right, so... If I wanted to render this entire video, I'm going to need to put this at the very end of the video and this part at the very beginning of the video because the only thing inside this gray bar is going to get rendered. All right, now this bottom gray bar is basically just to zoom in on your video and audio for you to work with. It doesn't affect the video in any way. So if you take this and you drag it closer, kind of like you're pinching in on an iPhone or like, spread, or like uh, spreading your fingers out on an iPhone, it'll zoom out and it'll zoom in. And it's all based on where your marker is. So if this marker, let me move the video. If this marker is over here and I zoom in, it's gonna zoom in based on where the marker is. If I put it over here and zoom in, it's gonna zoom in on that spot where the marker is. So if you need to like look closer to like an audio part of the video, or if you need to get a very specific time, and you can zoom in on the video, and you'll see the time frame changes. Each one of these is now a smaller fragment, and you can go all the way down to where you eventually get to frame by frame. And this is frame by frame, which you can actually use these arrows and click each separate frame. But generally, I'll zoom out. Depending on where the video is, I like to have the whole video in frame. So that way I can move this from the end of the video to the beginning of the video. Some videos are longer though, so you're going to want to make that a little shorter. So that way, when you're moving your um, cursor, sorry, when you're moving your cursor, you're not going to want the video this small because when I move it from here to here, oh, I just skip three seconds and I just barely move the cursor. So if you want more specific editing, you're going to want to zoom in a little so that way you can go smaller, uh, shorter fragments here and you'll see the time goes by much slower as I move it because I'm zoomed into the video. Uh, you can also, on this bar down here, these are your basic buttons, click play and pause. You can also use the space bar on your keyboard to play and pause and you can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard to do the step forward uh, right and step forward left which is frame by frame uh, moving the video and you can hold it to have it play and hold it backwards to have it reverse on your keyboard. You can also do that on these manually by clicking. And then this button over here is if you wanna take a screenshot of whatever you're on right now. So say I was right here and I wanted to make that a picture, you can click this button and you can save it as any type of image and then you can just save it on your computer if you wanted to screenshot the video for whatever reason, if you wanted to place it in there and pause the video for a second and put a screenshot and explain something else. So these are just some basic guidelines to basically get started with any editing of any sort. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you can get started with your editing. If you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. And thanks for watching.